Hi guys, in this tutorial I'm going to explain about various scenarios which are which we come across uh, the informaticas. So starting with the basic scenario, I'm going to start with like create a simple one-to-one -one mapping to load the data from one source table to the target table. So here I've created one employment source table and one employment destination table. You can say it in Oracle. So select Seraph from Employment Source. So we have uh, nine records in the Employment Source table. So similarly, if I check the records in the Destination table, we have zero rows. So um, uh, the requirement for this is to load the data, whichever uh, are there in the Source table, need to be loaded into the Destination table. So in this scenario, I need to load all these nine rows into the Destination table. So that I have logged into Designer and uh, I've created the source mapping from the Oracle so directly if you need more information on how to create a target definition source destination so you can uh, log into my previous videos I have uh, you know, I have given the path in this uh, blog so you can go to it at any time and since I've created a already I've created employment source so I'm not going to create it again this is a source definition here and the target definitions I have created one more like uh, employment destination table for this destinations and source I have created a mapping to map the rows from source definitions so I have the source qualifier which is to convert the uh, declared data types to the uh, informatica supporting data types so since we have created number it is going to convert into decimal where cut to string respectively so here, so we are, we are going to we have uh, I have already created the session for this, so I am not going to create again the session. So when you go to the workflow manager to check the sessions, just connect to this. Here you can see the workflow which I have created. Uh, start from this is the sessions which is which is used to run the mapping which we created there. So for these properties, this we are going to create the change the properties in the mapping. Here we are going to change the connections to the respective connections which we have made, and even the destination table. And we have made it load type as normal. And then click. Okay. I'm going to start this workflow so that uh, this nine rows will be populated into the destination table. I started this whether to check whether where it has started. You need to see the workflow monitor. So you, if you see this, it's running this session. So we can see here it succeeded. And to check the number of rows it has been moved, we can check the run properties and source to target statistics here. We can we have nine rows in the source, and that have been affected. Those are been populated into the target rows. So we can verify this from the the source command line. So we can see that all the nine rows have been populated into the destination table. So I'll be going to upload this. Uh, I'm going to upload this video on the YouTube and share the link in this blog. Please go through that whenever you are stuck somewhere. Thank you.